In physics, Fadib Popov ghosts are additional fields which are introduced into gauge quantum field theories to maintain the consistency of the path integral formulation. They are named after Ludwig Fadib and Viktor Popov. There is also a more general meaning of the word ghost in theoretical physics, which is discussed below, overcounting in Feynman path integrals. The necessity for Fadiv Popov ghosts follows from the requirement that in the path integral formulation, quantum field theory should yield unambiguous, non-singular solutions. This is not possible when a gauge symmetry is present since there is no procedure for selecting any one solution from a range of physically equivalent solutions all related by a gauge transformation. The problem stems from the path integrals over counting field configurations related by gauge symmetries. Since those correspond to the same physical state, the measure of the path integrals contains a factor which does not allow obtaining various results directly from the original action using the regular methods. It is possible, however, to modify the action, such that the regular methods will be applicable by adding some additional fields, which break the gauge symmetry, which are called the ghost fields. This technique is called the Fadiv-Popov procedure. The ghost fields are a computational tool in that they do not correspond to any real particles in external states. They only appear as virtual particles in Feynman diagrams or as the absence of some gauge configurations. However, they are necessary to preserve unitarity. The exact form or formulation of ghosts is dependent on the particular gauge chosen. Although the same physical results are obtained with all the gauges, the Feynman t hooft gauge is usually the simplest gauge for this purpose, and is assumed for the rest of this article. Spin statistics relation violated. The Fadiv Popov ghosts violate the spin statistics relation, which is another reason why they are often regarded as non physical particles. For example, in Yang Mills theories, the ghosts are complex scalar fields, but they anti commute. In general, anti commuting ghosts are associated with fermionic symmetries, while commuting ghosts are associated with bosonic symmetries, gauge fields, and associated ghost fields. Every gauge field has an associated ghost, and where the gauge field acquires a mass via the Higgs mechanism, the associated ghost field acquires the same mass. Appearance in Feynman diagrams In Feynman diagrams the ghosts appear as closed loops wholly composed of three vertices, attached to the rest of the diagram via a gauge particle at each three vertex. The contribution to the S matrix is exactly cancelled by a contribution from a similar loop of gauge particles with only three vertex couplings or gauge attachments to the rest of the diagram. The opposite sign of the contribution of the ghost and gauge loops is due to them having opposite fermionic, bosonic natures. Ghost field Lagrangian The Lagrangian for the ghost fields in Yang-Mills theories is given by the first term is a kinetic term like for regular complex scalar fields, and the second term describes the interaction with the gauge fields. Note that in abelian gauge theories the ghosts do not have any effect since and, consequently, the ghost particles do not interact with the gauge fields. General ghosts in theoretical physics the Fadiv Popov ghosts are sometimes referred to as good ghosts. The bad ghosts represent another, more general meaning of the word ghost in theoretical physics. States of negative norm or fields with the wrong sign of the kinetic term, such as Pauli Villa's ghosts, whose existence allows the probabilities to be negative thus violating unitarity, changing the symmetry. Ghost particles could obtain the symmetry or break it in gauge fields. The good ghost particles actually obtain the symmetry by unchanging the gauge fixing Lagrangian in a gauge transformation, while bad ghost particles break the symmetry by bringing in the non-obelian G matrix which does change the symmetry. And this was the main reason to introduce the gauge covariant and contravariant derivatives.